So this is Alex Buble. Buble, yeah. Yeah. So and we're at a, we're at a Thai restaurant. We literally just finished training. Well, you finished training. I finished before you came back. And we jumped on your bike. We're in Bangkok, and uh, you're eating some Thai food. Yeah, some fried chicken, some chicken fried rice, some omelette, and some cucumber, and some whatever this is. It's he, good. He made a really bad joke a minute ago. Um, yeah, so, don't make me say that again. Yeah, yeah no, no, we, we won't. <laughs> Alex, where have you been? We haven't seen we haven't seen you for about a month. So, no, I've been I've been actually training for, for three months. I go back for three months, and I've been training really hard, thinking I will get back to fighting on one championship. And then uh, I found out that they were not happy with my last performance. Uh, that, that came as a shock because I thought it was really good. And uh, after trying so hard to figure out why not and how can I how can I reverse that, uh, visa visa problems came 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 to light, and so I just had to leave for a while. So what kind of visa you're on? It? Education visa? Right now I'm a non-ED visa, yes, which is tricky to go out of time and come back in because they question you and say, look, I mean, we know you're a fighter, you haven't got the right visa for it. Usually the ladies say say that, but the men in immigration, most of them have seen my fight and they come and say, oh, Nag Moi, Um Hen, Jok Moi, Thai Fai. So they, they, so they saw me fight in Thai Fai one and then the conversation gets a little bit more easy, more fluid and uh there's still a lot of headache like my wife has a proper visa she can she can just go through and this is when we come i have noticed it's getting harder and harder you've probably noticed that as well like when, every time i come back in I, I get questioned as well now i'm romanian so for me i need a visa to cross the street basically yeah if you need, need a visa for anything i don't get a stamp i don't get an exemption and a visa on arrival for me is only two months with a one sorry two weeks with a one week extension so for me it's always been hard to get these so you go back and forward all the time no no i i used to so I've, in five and a half years i've been in thailand i've changed six no five passports i've changed five passports at first when when there was no lockdowns and all of that bollocks i was fighting internationally a lot uh with Buakau and uh my passport would just get full of stamps because I need a re-entry permit for the visa that I already had, that's two pages, yeah, then I, I need a, a visa for where I'm going, I need a stamp to exit Thailand, a stamp to enter where, I'm, enter where I'm going, a stamp to leave where I'm going and another stamp to enter back into Thailand. So every time I used to go to China and fight, that's two pages, three pages gone. Of course. It, it used to just be full, full of... Uh, full of stamps, so I used to be forced to go go home and change the passport. But then it became, as you said, a bit harder to get the visas. I had to get a longer visa. I got an education visa. I learned, yep. went to school, learned, learned a little bit of Thai. And um, every year, I feel like it's a different rule. So I never know well, how am I going to get the visa next, next next year. It's definitely getting harder. Mm. Uh, Alex can eat as well. Obviously, we're uh, we're it's, uh, it's still hot a little bit, so. Um, it's definitely getting harder. Um, I've been pulled up a couple of times as well. So one championship wasn't happy with your performance, yeah. which I think is surprising as well. How did you find out about that? And when really did you find well. out? I found Check out so after the fight, I had, to take, I had to go to Romania. And did you want to obviously tell everyone uh, who you fought last fight against, uh, who you fought last? I fought against Alan Yoni uh, from um, Argentina. He just had a points decision against Sanchai and had a draw in Thai fight on with, with, the, with the ropes and he was just smashing everyone on uh, Super Champ which is a difficult promotion yep. Super Champ and I was fighting with two split chins so I was bleeding from my... I, I was doing my medicals with trousers on so that the doctors wouldn't, wouldn't see my shins now that's not one championship's fault that I was injured but the reason I got those injuries was just so I, so I could get there to, to one championship. So that, and what, sorry, what do you mean by that? You, you were basically, look, you were doing the, uh, you were doing the circuit, you taking all these hard fights. I was fighting with Fairtex. I, yep. I, I beat Wanchala Modum Muang, who beat Pak Horn, uh, which is one of the, one of the really, really strong of all the generation fighters in, in Thailand. Um, I beat two good foreigners. I was, I, I was practicing with the, with the small gloves. And then my trainer was asking me to throw a low kick a certain way. Now I can't because of my injuries. I can only throw the low kick 
the way I've adjusted my style to, to suit that, that, that look so I wouldn't get injured again. But you, you wouldn't understand because you know ties are very traditionalist and you have to do it their way otherwise. Yeah. So I said, I, I, I don't know I'm fighting a one championship yet. I'm still thinking of fighting, uh, I'm still fighting on, on, on fair text, yes? So I'm thinking, I'm gonna throw the Loki the way he says it, and then he'll see that I can't, why I can't do it the, the way he wants me to do it. Throw him, poof, shin split open. Yeah, you, your, shin, your, shin, your shins are horrible. Exploded. Yeah, yeah. They're very strong, but just the skin on top of it, yeah. split. So, and it bleeds, and then it makes a mess, and you get stopped, and the referee goes, no, 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 whatever. And then you can't train for two weeks. So I threw the kicks, I split open my shins, yeah. I, I went to the corner and said, look, you see? And he's like, oh, no. I said, don't worry, it's not a problem. I'm going to carry on fighting, and I carried on fighting. I won the fight in Fairtex. Yeah. And then after the fight, I said, you understand why I can't throw the kicks that way? So yeah, no problem. From now on, I let you kick the way you want to kick. I think the same day or day after, I said, Alex, you fight one championship in, in three um, weeks. And what was, on three weeks, the turnaround three, was three, three weeks? Three or four, four weeks, I think it was. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Four weeks. It was, it was um, five fights in six months. And that was, that was the, the tally yeah. of it. And I'm like, great, I'm stitched up now. What am I doing? So I wait a few days for my, my, my swelling to go down. I remove my stitches by myself. And because um, I went to the doctor and he said, no, no, you have to keep it longer. I couldn't keep it longer because I had to train and I couldn't even run. So I just, okay, let me just remove my stitches so I can run. But because I, you get like, you have to train, you can't not train. Mm. So you train, then you risk and you push it. And then sometimes you risk a bit too much. You split, smash open again in training so I went to the, the hospital this time they scraped off my scar tissue they, they uh, stitched it up again and said you gotta keep the stitches on for two weeks this time I'm like I'm fighting for two weeks that's not gonna happen so and so just so everyone knows when was that that was this was two and a half weeks before the fight and what date is that was this so the, the fight was on the 3rd of February this was whatever two and a half weeks before that is this January. year 2013 uh, yeah, 2023 yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's mid this was mid-January so I'm thinking this is not gonna happen so I take five more days off which is make make me go mad because I know I got the most important fight of my career in, 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 in two weeks and I can't train take the stitches out again and start training Obviously, my leg couldn't heal. I get to the fight. I'm scared. Can I swear? I'm scared. You can swear, yeah. Why am I scared? Because I don't know. Can I use my legs? Can I know you? What am I going to do? I'm not here to, to fucking look like an idiot just boxing and then running away. So I won't fight. I'm just going to kick. Push, split open. Every time I kick, blood everywhere. Opponent was like, what? Referee was like, what? Where did that come yeah, from? Yeah. Yeah, no problem, I'm okay, I know. Yeah, yeah. In between the rounds, I'm pulling out my anklets. Pebble Chu, the talent scout for one championship. We get along very well. He comes I'm like, no, no. Dun, 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 pull the anklet out. Oh, you, you're killing me, Pebble Chu. So I do it the way, the way they say it. I kept pushing forward the whole fight. But that was the best I could do at that time. Now, it's not one championship for that I fall injured. Because... It's, you give me a fight, if I come injured, it's, that's none of your business. It, I, I should be 100% for, for that fight. But again, the whole reason I got those injuries was so I could get that fight. And I couldn't cancel the fight. My visa, I overstayed my visa for, for about nine days, I think, just to, 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 to be able to do that fight. And um, I did, and I was so proud of it. I was fantastic, bro, because there's so much emotional charge and so much hard work and you're always tired and low energy is low confidence that, yeah. that's how it usually goes and then you get all these thoughts like look i'm fighting a kicking sport and i can't kick yeah how is this I, I'm, I'm i'm not fighting against three people i'm fighting against a worldwide audience now this is this is one of the, the goals that my main goals that's that's what i'm here for why am i what am i gonna do so i go there and i do it and i thought it was fantastic i i didn't get punched in the face once i yes. blocked everything i took one elbow because i dove into it that is my fault and i got kicked in the ass once but again i blocked absolutely everything i was so proud of myself so happy i, I didn't realize there's no one championship we're looking for they were looking for battle more battle more battle now surely the opponent can share some of the some of the blame for that but it is what it is even if it's a uh, regardless whose fault it is it's my responsibility to rectify that and now we're working on re rectifying it and uh that's mine that's mine oh. that, that's yours I, oh, I, I switched them oh did you yeah, oh, yeah. but it's right it doesn't matter no the glass oh the glass so you were pouring into my glass oh it doesn't matter it's the same le level 
Yeah, and I was pouring you a drink. Oh, you were pouring me yes. a drink? Yes. How nice is that? Look at this. I was pouring you a Romanian. drink, man. We're uneducated Romanians. Thank you. Yeah. Look, looking after me. Yeah, man. I was pouring you, you a drink and you're, you're going up. You try, try and beat me up, bro. Oh, yeah. Just, I was going to flip the table. And <laughs> this, this, this guy's not a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was pouring him a Sprite and he, uh, he's getting angry at me. I swear I got no friends. Only That's why you got no friends. Yeah, yeah I got to play video game. You're obviously quite proud of your performance. Oh, yeah. uh, obviously, personally, I thought you, you performed quite well because I've been trying to chase you down ever since um, to get an interview. Um, so when did they actually let you know that uh, they weren't pleased with your performance? And, I, wh and where do we go from here? Mm, I took two months off, went to Romania, changed the passport again. Um, get a new visa, I did a few seminars and I wanted to wait for my leg to heal. And uh, that was the hardest bit, waiting for my injuries to heal. And um, then I came back, I started training a month, two months, and then I said, yeah, give me five. I said, yeah, yeah, we give you five. They didn't know either, the, the, the team, the managers at Tiki, they didn't, they didn't have no idea. So uh, let me just, let me jump in quickly. Um, we may have to raise our voices. So you're currently with PK Sanjay. Yeah. Um, but you were training for quite quite a few years with uh, the legend. Yeah, Buakau. Buakau. Um, so just to sort of interrupt there, when did you transition across? And are you just strictly with, exclusively with PK Sanjay? Or you'll go back, or you do go back and train with Buakau from time to time? Um, I trained with Buakau when I first came to Thailand. So I came to Thailand, I got a visa from England because it was, uh, I was, used to live in England at the time and there were no restrictions, like they wouldn't ask for... Now it's hard to get, you need a bank statement, you need proof of address, you need loads of stuff. At the time you just like give money, give photo, get visa, go home. And um, so I came to Buakau, I, I, I was so broke at the time, I didn't even have enough money to go back. I had money to train for one month in two more weeks. How did you, how did you find Borkow? I, I was I was weighing in weighing up gyms. Where should I go? Which one has the best management? The most fighters for me to learn from.